Hello my dear friends, you have asked me for uh, pictures or a video of the convent and I have thought of doing it a long time. My strength is varying a lot, so today is a day I think I can do that. And I will show you the convent together with my cat, Pusito. Okay, this is the prayer rest and retreat center that I was given by God one year ago this month. This is a place to sit around the fire and have some sheep furs <laughs> that you can sit on when you come. This is the row boat and there's going to be a pier there from where you can jump in swim in the water and there is here a football field a big football field there is an old house and this house is not in use because it's lacking um, yeah it needs the tubing like uh, plumbers plumber work and then my dream for this house is to make it a medical unit where people who are sick like I've been needing medical attention and rest and prayer uh, that uh, eight to ten beds with two nurses attending can be there so I need to build another uh, two floors there is one floor that needs to be totally restored, including the plumbing and electricity and everything. But then I need a second floor uh, because the house is very small. Okay, this is the main house and there is the church. This is the den and this is the dining hall. And here is the, <laughs> this is the hotel. Uh, floor and I'm going to show you and the terrace here is wonderful in the summer and I'm starting to grow herbs and fruit trees and berry bushes etc because there was nothing here when I came nothing nothing at all not even one fruit tree and then this is the third house and I'm renting out the basement for a student I've already restored the basement and made a kitchen uh, and then I'm renting out the upper two floors for a single mom who lives there. So th that's how I earn some money uh, to restore the whole place. The entire place has five houses. One of them is a hut, like a co cabin cottage, but it's also beautiful. I'll show you. Uh, it just needs total makeover <laughs> okay this is a place to make parijada uh, barbecuing in the summer and I've just got this jacuzzi airlifted <laughs> uh, so I'm waiting for electricians you know everything is done in steps due to economy and lack of people and lack of strength but Thanks to God, he has made all this possible and you know, I had this wonderful favor with God that even the jacuzzi uh, was donated free of charge. It's used, of course, may need some mending, needs electricians, but I just feel that I'm walking in, in the favor of God as he wants to provide a place of rest for his tired uh, warriors and for people who are not yet in the kingdom but his kindness will draw them. Okay, this place here is going to be a plaza with small round tables like uh, Italian style uh, plaza dining because this is a big kitchen so it's very close to here so you can just walk here and have started to plant fruit trees so that the fruit trees be encircling the plaza so we can put lamps and yeah lanterns 
and have uh, outdoor dining in the summer. This is the main entrance and the uh, uh, main plaza where you come from. Okay, so it's easy. Where you come from the main street here. Main street, <laughs> there are no cars. I can hear I can hear a person's footsteps like one kilometer away, especially when it's snowy. So it's really remote, really quiet. But anyway, this is the main building. This is the house I'm renting out. And this is the house where I live in those top two windows now. And I'm going to have to do something radical with this house. It's not good. All the windows need to be changed and the basement is wet and leaking and full of fungi so I've been recommended to tear it down to build a new one and I know that's the most wise thing to do but also too expensive right now and here I want to make a big greenhouse so that we can enjoy indoor like outdoor dining and uh, eat vegetables and herbs and fruits all all year around and this is gonna be also a nice plaza and uh, with a fountain like fountain here in the middle that's the plan okay and up there is the prayer room and uh, my office and I'm gonna show you inside yeah, and before I go inside, I'm going to show you something. I actually have this entrance here to the church for coffins and beds and wheelchairs. So I'm just praying God will do lots of miracles here and raise up the dead and heal the sick and give life in every way to everybody who is entering this house okay so this is the lobby so this is the first place you see when you enter and behind here there is a wardrobe with three toilets bathrooms and then here is my favorite room so far the den the sitting room and uh, it's a very nice place to just live I live here uh, as much as I can the view to the lake and fire on the fireplace and uh, TV of course and then this <laughs> This is the church and uh, my piano forte, piano cola, and uh, I just love it. And it has a PA system, has projector, so it's ready for Daniel Colenda to come and preach here and uh, all of the guys, or Herbert or Beatrix, or Cherise, or Ma Maria, or Edel Trout, anyone, all of you, all of you can come here and preach and worship, and yeah, you can't see the lake maybe, but the lake is there. Okay, and I love that there is much light coming from the cross, and uh, this is where I sit and worship, and this little room, is now the, the prayer chapel. So here you can close the door and sit all by yourself and uh, just pray. It's a small room, a quiet room that's always being kept warm, ready to be used by anyone. Yeah, and here are chairs on the stage for interviews. And in the back of the church is the first massage chair. So people can sit 
and look at the cross and be healed. And actually, I have some people renting hotel rooms from a construction company and the guys used to sit there and rest after a long day of work, look at the cross and be cared for by the massage chair and I love that. Okay, so here is the dining hall and uh, it's uh, huge. And uh, have put some temporary sofas here. It's not. It's not made. It's not made well. So the, the okay. The tables are all over. But here, I'm just gonna paint everything white. Everything is gonna be white. And the main uh, change here is gonna be to make windows all the way down. You see, there are windows all over the place here. And on the front, the wall that's facing the lake, I'm gonna push the windows all the way down. And the middle windows will be doors that will open to a big veranda so that you can really see the, the view and sit in the sun. I don't know if you could see it, but it's actually a very good view here to the lake and uh, the nicest part kind of of the area. And here you can see the football field from this side. So this is the big dining hall that's going to be also beautified and made white. Okay, so here is the big kitchen. It's really helpful. And it's well equipped. It has all the necessary things for a big kitchen and even has a freezer room and a cooling room but I'm not using them due to electric costs. This is one of our uh, conference rooms where you can sit the other uh, electrical chair, I mean the massage chair. <laughs> you can sit and look at the world map and pray and uh, let God speak to you and care for your body. There are some old uh, paintings here still. Okay, so this now is the upper room, Himmelrummet. The heavenly room that is my office and uh, it's nice and airy I've kept the blue roof like the heaven and as in all of my rooms there is a bed so that I, I can rest as you hear it's uh, So now we are entering the downstairs, but here is a climbing wall, I don't know what it's called, Klatrevegg. And this stairway is going to be with black and gold. Okay, so this is the downstairs lobby hall, hallway. And uh, the old section with old older rooms there, and here is an separate entrance with a kitchenette uh, here. Yeah, then I can see it. And then rooms here. Um, this is one room. And uh, it's very warm. <laughs> and then this, uh, yeah, this small bathroom for uh, with the warm cable 
heating cables. Yeah, so this, uh, this is a um, sitting room, TV, TV living room with a view to the lake and the uh, entrance to the veranda. So here is where people sit when they rent most of the time, especially when there are groups. And then you just enter out to the jacuzzi or eating there. It's going to be very nice. So hopefully the jacuzzi is functioning when you come. And it's just quiet here. with really good beds there's someone renting here now so the beds are made by themselves <laughs> and really good bathrooms and uh, with the heating cables so this is the, yeah, the bathroom and shower And then when you come, you get this uh, black bath robe that you can walk in all day. I do that <laughs> so that it's really comfortable. And then uh, you can enjoy here the heating of the wood stove. Yeah. So this is one of the rooms also. Okay, so we're entering the old section and those rooms, they don't have bathrooms. So there are several bathrooms here and then this, uh, how to say it, this wardrobe, no, it's changing room and the, yeah, so it's a, uh, cozy place when I just light the the LED candle lights there. It's uh, it's for these uh, old rooms and for people who want to have like a spa. And uh, these are the old rooms, but uh, I've separated, I made them like uh, double rooms but I've taken care of the old the old bunker beds here and there so these rooms were all bunker beds but now it's become very usable very useful and uh, okay nice okay enough nice nice enough, nice enough and this is uh, one of the older rooms where I'm waiting a new guest on uh, Monday and uh, it's a good place to rest really comfortable beds and one of our best rooms so far is this room and it was the worst ever it hadn't been used for 30 years because of a water leakage and a fungi and it was just uh, damaged so the door was locked and no one was allowed to go in and then we've made it now into this gym for Leon my son and for everyone who's coming and uh, yeah So it sounds like I've been using it, but for me, it's enough just to walk around and feel. But it's a very good gym and with a party box full of sound, so you can really boost yourself when you are here. We've done a lot of digging with uh, 
machines outside and had a week professional workers outside to do the digging and changing of walls and yeah and then it is possible to do a lot here so i'm going to show you this area is also a very good area and the sun up there is the best place to sit in the evening and here I'd want to make a outdoor small swimming pool. Okay, and then there is a basement that's big and it's really possible to make it into a creative hub and uh, I'm planning to do that later and to have a, a like a outdoor kitchen, outdoor indoor kitchen here, and then to make it a um, creative hub. And one room with windows there is gonna be uh, the green room, I mean the greenhouse. And there is the washing room with several washing machines and we're lacking. Okay. There are many stairs here, so, I'm gonna invest in this uh, stool lift, chair lift for those who are not uh, strong enough for all the stairs all the time. At least that's the plan. And now I'm gonna show you the last house. No, it's not the last house. Second last house. My place. And then I'm going to walk to the writer's cottage that I think you will all love. And uh, I think I will be able to welcome many people there to write their book okay so the uh, this is the main floor it's just now full of things the main floor and with two bedrooms and this huge living room of i don't know 45 square meters and yeah a big something that's gonna be a kitchen and another bedroom and a bathroom it's not made it's not so it's lacking in me. It needs to be, how does it? Done, uh, like redone, but actually there wasn't any good kitchen before. Okay, so this is now one of the rooms upstairs where I am going to live. And this room, I'm planning to make it a studio where to film and to make uh, podcasts and videos and then this is the bedroom of my kids here and this is how big my bathroom is it's small small and this is how big the toilet is you know so and this is my present living room. It's, uh, it's a good place. I'm sleeping in the living room because it's uh, cold and uh, I can only heat up one room, warm up one room. And the kitchenette also here is, is not the best and biggest but uh, it's a warm good place and i have a tv i have internet i have peace and quiet to be alone with god and uh, to hear from him and that's the best i know i'm now going to show you the writer's cottage and this is the car 
and uh, I'm driving 15 hours from Kristiansand to Kristiansund every time my kids are home uh, from their schools. Uh, I'm praying to God for a small, what is this called? Camping, camping car? A bibobil is called in Norwegian bibobil. So it's like a small caravan car that you can also drive like normally. Not much bigger than my car, but with heating and toilet and bed inside. So that when I get too tired, I can just sleep wherever I am until I regain strength. That's not possible now uh, in the winter with this car, but God knows all the needs of this place and of us all, right? And uh, this is the house I'm renting out and this is the writer's cabin. It's like another world here. All by itself. So even though it's so close, it's like it's secluded. So here I'm gonna make it flourish by God's grace in the summer. Inside. This is the entrance from the main road and this is where you come. So my dream is, as I said, to build a greenhouse there so that this becomes like a plaza with a fountain and with lights and lanterns. And this house, I'm not sure if it needs to be torn down completely and rebuilt or if it's possible to save it and just change all the windows and dig around it one more year and really dig in the, uh, in the ground to drainage for drainage. I'm not sure. And then my dream is to make their uh, extra floor with a view to the lake so that people are oh, getting visitors <laughs> so that people so that people can come This is a cottage cabin. This is a small thing. <laughs> but it's quite cozy. And I've been told that two persons used to live here when this place was an asylum center, asylum reception center. All this place used to be that a few years ago, like 20 years ago. And this is kitchen, and there's actually a bathroom. And uh, the up upstairs is so 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 small, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so this is where one can stay. <laughs> okay, so now you've seen. The writer's cottage, Mirsto. And the thing is that it everything needs to be done with it. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the, the whole house is falling apart by the chimney. And it's because it's falling, the ba basis is falling. So 
I'm considering uh, whether it's feasible actually to restore it or to take it down and to build another one more modern and functional and with large windows and like a quiet place so that's that's the last house the fifth house and then there is another small one here that like a cottage for okay those visitors were some pastors from a nearby city that had just heard about me having the place and wanted to come and see so I I've never met them before but I think they'll come here with their church and and they themselves wanted to come here and be prayed for and yeah join some prayer here so that would be good so God is doing things even in the midst even while things are not fully like restored uh, God is using this place <coughs> Sorry. and God is using us while we are sick while we are not yet restored fully God can still use us because the power is not from us it's from him and when we are weak we are strong and uh, I just want to leave you um, with this impression uh, that God is doing this and that nothing is impossible for him and uh, that even in this difficult uh, times this difficult time God is raising up people and places and um, what he has said to you he will do what he has said to you he will do you are welcome here to come and rest and revive your body and soul or just um, yeah come visit come and help if you want or just come and rest may god bless you may he strengthen you and may he give you all that your heart desires May he give you the right desires of your heart and may he give you what your heart then desires. And um, the word God gave me for this place was, shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I will come and tabernacle among you, says Yahweh. Many people will be joined to Yahweh in that day and become my people. Shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I am coming and I will tabernacle among you. Many people will be joined to the Lord in that day and will become my people. So, to the ends of the world, here from the convent in the north and uh, to the south where you are, may you be blessed and uh, may God give you the desires of your heart, protect you and strengthen you and lead you on his adventure. Until we meet, God bless you.